Orange Lung Country. This is Sunday Mass with Bishop Greg Moni. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. In this season of Advent, let's stand with expectation in the presence of God. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. You are word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. <clears throat> and let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Console my people, console them, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and call to her that her time of service is indeed, that her sin is atoned for, that she has received from the hand of the Lord double punishment for all her crimes. A voice cries, prepare in the wilderness a way for the Lord. Make a straight highway for our God across the desert. Let every valley be filled in, every mountain and hill be laid low. Let every cliff become a plain and the ridges a valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all mankind shall see it, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up on high mountain, joyful messenger to Zion. Shout with a loud voice, joyful messenger to Jerusalem. Shout without fear, say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. Here is the Lord coming with power, his arm subduing all things to him. The price of his victory is with him. His trophies all go before him. He is like a shepherd feeding his flock, gathering lambs in his arms, holding them against his breast, and leading to the rest the mother use. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. Lord, the Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Lord, A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. There is one thing, my friends, that you must never forget, that with the Lord a day can mean a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. 
The Lord is not being slow to carry out his promises, as anybody else might be called slow. But he is being patient with you all, wanting nobody to be lost and everybody to be brought to change his ways. The day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then, with a roar, the sky will vanish. The elements will catch fire and fall apart. The earth and all that it is contains will be burnt up. Since everything is coming to an end like this, you should be living holy and saintly lives while you wait for the long while you wait and long for the day of God to come, when the sky will dissolve in flames and the elements melt in the heat. What we are waiting for is what he promised, the new heavens and new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live lives without spot or stain so that he will find you at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Please stand to proclaim the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. All people shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in the book of the prophet Isaiah. Look, I am going to send my messenger before you. He will prepare your way. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight. And so it was that John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. All Judea and all the people of Jerusalem made their way to him, <coughs> and as they were, they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. John wore a garment of camel skin, and he lived on locusts and wild honey. In the course of his preaching, he said, Someone is following me, someone who is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, we have the beginning of St. Mark's Gospel. It's a very important text because it begins in the Old Testament. And from this passage, we properly move into the New Testament because we begin with John the Baptist the last of the prophets, standing there, pointing to Jesus Christ who is to come after him and basically saying to us that everything in history is for this event. In the birth of Jesus Christ, everything in the past has been a lead up and a preparation for this. Funny thing is nobody knew this the greatest event in world history happened and nobody noticed. But St. Mark makes it very clear to us. I begin my gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, with the prophet Isaiah and with the last of the prophets, John the Baptist. And for us, it's a pointer towards Christmas. It indicates to us another aspect of what Advent is about because the coming of Jesus Christ is not something that happened 2,000 and something years ago but which happens for each of us again and again and again. For those who are converts, the coming of Jesus Christ is a very present event. It happens at the Vigil Mass at Easter Sunday. It happens every time an adult says, 
I am going to be baptized because at that moment they meet Jesus Christ. And at that moment, their Old Testament ends. Of course, it's not the same as the Old Testament of St. Mark. But the great truth that we learn from today's gospel in the movement from the Old to the New Testament is that this event happens every day for every person. Because the whole of my life makes it possible for me to meet Jesus Christ today. Everything, every part of it. And in a week's time, the whole of my life plus the week which has happened in between makes it possible for me to meet Jesus Christ in one week's time. And what the second Sunday of Advent is saying is, we stand in the present moment and everything of my life makes it possible to meet Jesus Christ today. Because what we are looking towards for Christmas is not towards some historic event. No. I and the church wants each of you to meet Jesus Christ again on Christmas Day. To bring your Old Testament, to bring the totality of your life to the present moment when you can look upon Jesus, when you can recognise him, when you can see him and live according to what he has come to bring you. Indeed, as I've often said, I don't know why God put me on this wo in this world. Was it to be bishop? I don't think so, because I'm a bishop now. The reason God has made me is always for tomorrow. It's never for anything in the past. The past prepares me for my tomorrow. And my tomorrow is what God has made me for. And the important thing is, my tomorrow, as Advent and Christmas brings us to, will be the place where I meet Jesus Christ. And let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Everything in our lives brings us to this moment, and in this moment let us turn to God our Father in our prayer that the Holy Church may reveal the glory of the Lord for all peoples to see. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian leaders may work for justice and peace based on divine mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are dying may be prepared to meet Christ in a state of penitence and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That others may see the patience of God in the way we treat them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing and acceptance through Christ and the intercession of St Mary of the Cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those whose deaths we recall may enjoy light, pardon and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of their hands, the face and Lord of this name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with all the angels and saints, with the thrones and dominions, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal <coughs> covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> The mystery of faith. We proclaim May your death, O Lord, and <coughs> your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, no, I am not <coughs> worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. O Lord, replenish by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And my mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God.